Hi everybody from Technos, so welcome to the dedicated focus on the performances for Vulkan Series Huawei Ascent P6. So let's start with the first benchmark, which is Quant Advanced. Now we will see, then we will see Antutu and Alexi, and finally the speed test. Of that. So let's run the Quant Advanced. And while the benchmark is running, just let me remind you a few hardware specs of this device. We have the CPU, which is Huawei own CPU, which is the K3 V2 quad core CPU clock at 1.5 GHz. It has a Cortex A9 architecture and a production service of 40 nanometers. Then we have the GPU, which is the Vivanti GC4000. It's a 16 cores uh, GPU. We have, of course, RAM, which is 2 GB of LPDDR2 memory, and the display, which is the 4.7 inches. 720p resolution display so given these technical specs it will be quite interesting to see how does this hardware architecture compares with the competitors which is according to me the snapdragon 6 uh, uh, 64 pro architecture so the quality result is 5489 um, I used to score about 5,800 with this Ashen P6, so we are a little bit uh, on the average side. Just to give you a quick comparison, the Nexus 4 used to score about five, uh, about you know, 400 and 4,800, so a little bit, uh, almost uh, a thousand points less. So now let's see the Antutu benchmark and let's see how does this behave. So this score for Antutu is 14,957 so it's a little bit less with um, respect of what I used to obtain with this uh, Ascent P6 which is normally 15,000 and it's slightly less than we could obtain with the Nexus 4 which used to score uh, between 17 and 18,000 so uh, given the fact that I'm to use a little bit more the uh, it's, it's a little bit more graphical intensive in respect of the current advance we may say that maybe the Vivante GC4000 is not on par with the Adreno 320 at least for what concern pure graphical power so let's run now the <coughs> Epic Citadel benchmark which will help us in uh, even be more sure about this uh, different between the Vivante and the Adreno 320. The first things I want to show you as soon as this benchmark will start is the fact that we cannot set up the this benchmark with this Ascent P6 at the ultra high quality. Just let me show you in a few seconds if we get into the settings and we select performance settings as you can see we have high performance, high quality but we don't have ultra high quality. This could probably mean two things. The first one is that maybe this GC4000 um, Vivante GPU is not extremely powerful as it could be the Adreno 320. And this specific benchmark, which is Epic Citadel, recognized the uh, you know performances of this uh, device and decide not to enable the ultra high quality. Another possibility may be that the uh, software driver for this Vivante GC4000 is not perfectly optimized and even it does not you know, uh, enable all the features that this GC4000 has. This means that the benchmark needs maybe some feature that the software driver is not showing the benchmark. That's why we cannot set up the ultra high quality. I don't know which one of, of these two possibilities is the most, you know, true. But the thing is that for sure this Vivante GC4000 
as we saw from the previous Antutu benchmark and as we will see uh, in a few seconds from this Epic Citadel benchmark is not you know the uh, most powerful GPU actually on the market so let's uh, see in a few seconds the result for what concerns this Epic Citadel benchmark as you can see the frame rate usually goes around the 20 up to uh, 30 or even a little bit more depending on the scene but the average frame rate just to you know giving a look to the frames right now uh, seems to be uh, lower than the one that we could score for instance with the Nexus 4 and here we go in fact the average frame rate for this P6 is 31.3 I could even score around 32.6 with this s p 6 but nevertheless this result does tell us that this device is not as powerful as the Nexus 4 which had a score of around 48.6 with a ultra high quality while we are using here just high quality so this means <coughs> sorry guys as I told you before that maybe this GC4000 Vivante GPU is not on par with the Adreno 320 nevertheless the average frame rate for the Epic Citadel was not bad at all so it's uh, anyway it's not uh, a bad uh, uh, GPU at all so now we can give a look to the last benchmark of the set that I want to show you which is speedtest.net this is really interesting because it does show us the average speed of this device for what concern uh, neck connectivity of course this test does heavily depends on the uh, network itself on how busy is the network in, in the moment that you are running the test so let's begin as I uh, as as you may if as you may saw before the uh, server is selected for running benchmark H H3G in my city because I'm I'm using a H3G carrier so let's start the test uh, this device has HSDPA connectivity up to 21.6 megabit, megabit per second download speed and up to 5.76 megabit in upload speed usually this kind of devices I mean devices which SAPA connectivity HSPA connectivity sorry mm, don't go mm, don't go sorry more than 17 megabit per second in download speed and up to 3 megabit per second in upload speed as you can see this device scores a little bit less for concerned download speed which is perfectly average considering the fact that this device is just you know 21.6 megabit per second download speed while the device that I used to score about 17 megabit per second in download speed where mm, devices capable at least on the spec sheets of downloading on up to 42.2 megabit per second in download speed so it does seem that this device is perfectly on average for concern the uh, maximum download speed that it can achieve it, you know it even seems a little bit faster for what concerns the average in upload speed because it could reach up 3.8 megabit per second in upload speed so this is the last run and I will show you in a few seconds the results that I could obtain with this device usually I get a maximum of a little bit more than 12 megabit per second download speed and up to 3.8 megabit per second in upload speed here we go 3.79 3.8 okay so just let's give a look to the result here as you can see the maximum is 12.63 uh, megabit per second download speed and the maximum upload speed was 3.8 megabit per second so it's perfectly on average with the maximum possible download speed and upload speed of this device so for what concern this dedicated this benchmark and this uh, sorry focus dedicated on the performances for this ascent Huawei P6 that's all 
once more thanks for watching and bye from Technost.